on on uh, what's going on, what happened, what has happened in Lucas County. Um, and uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Shayla McCormley, Rita Hart, Rita Hart for Iowa's legal counsel. Uh, and afterwards, we'll have some time for questions. Thank you for being here. I'm going to provide a brief explanation of our understanding of what's happening in Lucas County. And then, as Zach said, we will take some questions. Until late last night, on November 9th, Lucas County was reporting the total number of votes counted in the U.S. Congressional 2nd District in Lucas County's Russell Precinct as 180 votes. Just before 9 p.m., the Lucas County, well, when the Lucas County canvas is supposed to start at 9 a.m. today, Tuesday, six nights after the election, the Secretary of State's Chief of Staff left a message with the Rita Hart campaign on the general information line. When we got back in touch with him, they disclosed the total number of votes counted in that Russell precinct was actually 458, which results in a net gain for Dr. Miller Meeks of 167 votes and it flips the lead in the race. Six days after election day, less than 12 hours before the county canvas. Lucas County sun change was material indistinguishable from the similar shift in Jasper County. Jasper County was flagged the day after the election. The auditor identified it as human error. It changed the vote total also. And he requested there was administrative recount pursuant to Iowa Code 50.50 .50 on Saturday. It took place well before the certification. The results reflected the outcome of that recount at the certification happening today. But in Lucas County, they have said that they will recount by the changes and the, the difference in result. It's been tentatively scheduled for this Thursday. But the concerning part is the Secretary of State has pushed Lucas County to rush the certified modified results. So we find out last night, way after business hours, when we, there's nothing that we can do, it's discovered literally overnight without the benefit of a recount. And this morning, when Lucas County Board of Supervisors had some reservations about continuing the canvas and wanted to understand what happened, the Secretary of State pushed them to certify after the overnight change in the election results. There's no legal reason why Lucas County couldn't do the same thing Jasper County did, conduct an administrative recount before that certification. So the inescapable conclusion is the Secretary of State is pressuring Lucas County to jam through these results that were discovered at the 11th hour that now put Dr. Miller Meeks in the lead without taking the same careful steps that the Secretary of State urged to do elsewhere and ensure that we're preserving the public confidence in this election. So we welcome any questions. Okay, folks, they want to raise their hand. There we go. Uh, Kate Payne, IPR. Okay, uh, so Shayla, it's my understanding under state law that the counties have to canvas the Monday or Tuesday following the election. Uh, so yesterday or today, if the county only discovered this discrepancy last night, I mean, is it realistic to expect them to do uh, these, these recounts and audits today before they canvassed? Well, the concern is that why are we having these discoveries six days after the election? But even um, more importantly, the supervisors were uncomfortable this morning and they believe they could meet to canvas, choose not to certify because they don't send those results until next Monday. And they were requesting because they approved a countywide administrative recount to get that done as soon as possible and then convene. But instead the meeting was held at 9 a.m and it was pushed through once the Secretary of State staff arrived. All right, uh, Ryan Foley with the uh, AP. 
Yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, the Secretary of State says that uh, the county will be able to amend their certified results if the recount changes them. Do you have any reason to doubt that that would happen? Well, at the moment, we don't see an amendment process under the law. I'm glad they're acknowledging they need to have this process play out so we're not losing sight of the fact that Iowans have the right to have their voices heard. But I don't understand the rush of the need to hurry and do everything this morning at 9 a.m. when they literally at 9, I think 25, gave us this information last night. The supervisors even felt uncomfortable going forward this morning. Tom Barton with the Quad City Times. Yeah, thank you. Um, so um, what can you share about uh, the status of um, the, the canvases in, in other counties? Um, have you heard of or know of other issues, um, similar issues in, in, in other counties and, and what the likelihood might be of uh, recounts elsewhere in the district? We are paying attention to all of the canvases. We have not heard of other issues like this except for Jasper County, that because they were auditing, they were paying attention the day after the election to any confusion, to anything that didn't look quite right, which is why we went through that process already. The administrative recount, which was done in Jasper County on Saturday, and then the hand recount in Jasper County, which happened yesterday for the precinct um, in which they had some questions. We haven't heard of other issues. Uh, it's part of the, each of the auditors duties to check the unofficial results reported election night and to ensuring that Iowans faith in the process is maintained. And the concern is six days after the election, we have new results and now they push through a certification without a true investigation into what happened. All right, uh, I see uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan, Tom, or Kate, did you guys have to follow up? I see hands up, but that could just be me screwing up with my. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, can you uh, say which counties you intend to request a recount? Right now, we're still working through the process because we don't want to lose sight of the fact that the most important thing is that Iowans have the right to have their voices heard and votes counted correctly. The certification has not been finished in all counties and we wanna make sure that we're focusing on all votes being counted correctly. And are there in any counties where you anticipate picking up any votes potentially um, today as, as the certifications roll in? Um, and I can kind of answer that question. For the most part, most of the ASVP boards have already met. Um, but I know, you know, across the whole district, there are a number of counties meeting and completing their duties. And so any late arriving absentees that were mailed in time potentially could be added. Any provisional ballots that haven't been addressed potentially could, but I don't know all of those details. So each of the counties is making sure that they're having the proper boards meet prior to the canvas being done. All right. Uh, and this is Payne with IPR. I have another question, if, if you can still hear me. Um, yes. If you could uh, go over who from the Heart Campaign was at the Board of Supervisors meeting today, um, and when you say that the Secretary of State's uh, staff were pressuring that uh, canvas. What do you mean by that? What, what occurred there? We had a couple of um, volunteers and an attorney at the um, canvas, the Board of Supervisors meeting, which had been scheduled already at 9 a.m. The supervisors made it clear it is an open meeting that they didn't understand why they needed to sign the um, results at that time, they wanted more information and to understand 
The concern also is that there were meetings yesterday. Um, my understanding is both campaigns had people present at the ASVP boards yesterday, and none of this was brought to our attention until about 9.30 last night. Um, then it's my understanding at the meeting when the supervisor said, wait, why should we sign this? Can we, let's get it figured out. We don't have to send it up to the state until Monday. Secretary of State's staff and Mr. Pate came in the building, had some conversations, and then the supervisors were instructed they needed to get it signed. All right, folks uh, can raise hands if they've got any more questions. Uh, otherwise, I think that oh, uh, Libby Meyer with Iowa Starting Line. Thank you. Sorry, Shayla. I was just wondering if you could clarify the, the point about Monday. Um, you know, they're, they're certifying today, but what are you saying about they don't have to send until Monday? The deadline for the counties through the auditor and the board of supervisors, those actual canvas results that are signed off on by the supervisors do not need to be transmitted to the state until next Monday. So the Monday following about a week after the um, canvas is scheduled. I don't think I have the date in front of me right now, but next Monday. Okay, so thank you. Transmit the results. Ryan, do you have one more? We'll make this yeah. last question. Yeah, just, just so I understand the legal concern, are you concerned then that if the recount were to change things later this week, that the county will not be able to amend its certification or that the Miller Meeks camp could then challenge the amendment? Our concern is that this has not been a very transparent process. We understand that it is very similar in substance to what happened in Jasper County, but that auditor disclosed the issue and went forward making sure that it was a very transparent process. You know, we're not really going further than that. We just feel that this needs to be a transparent process. So Iowans have faith in the process and knowing at the 11th hour that there is a significant issue that changes the results of a congressional race and then turning right around at the beginning of the next business day and pushing it through, that is our concern. All right, uh, thank you everybody. Um, uh, we, Riley Kilberg uh, will, if you've got any follow-up questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, otherwise, thanks so much uh, for getting on and uh, we uh, will uh, be sure to be in touch. Thank you.